he was a good employee. Would get up every morning. He was on, always on call. He loved his job. He loved what he did. Tommy Manis worked as an instrumentation and electrical technician at the Valero Oil Refinery in Texas City, Texas. His wife, Laura Manis, says he worked on equipment throughout the refinery. It was a dangerous job, she says, but they felt protected at Valero. In Texas City, they have the certain plants that are like not so great to work at, but this was the elite because it was safe. It was supposed to be safe in his eyes, and that's what I believe. The federal government agreed. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, had designated the Valero refinery what it calls a model workplace. It's part of the Voluntary Protection Programs, or VPP. According to OSHA, VPP work sites have such exemplary safety programs that they're free from regular OSHA inspections. They largely police themselves. Going into Valero was you know, making it to the top, if you will. So on December 4th, 2009, when Tommy went to work, Laura never considered that her husband's life might be in danger. But later that night, a friend told her that there had been an explosion. She said there was a fatality bar, and I was like, oh my God, who got hurt? And she told me it was Tommy. And I lost it, lost my mind. I didn't even know it was that. That night, Tommy had been assigned to restart one of the refinery's boilers, but it exploded, killing him instantly and injuring two other workers. Immediately in my mind, I start to wonder, how can a site that's designated by the federal government as an exemplary site have such a catastrophic event that someone's killed?